We're up here at Fort Tryon Park, uh, the northern tip of Manhattan, for the Fort Tryon Park Medieval Festival. It's a huge medieval festival of thousands of people, and this is the first time that Fordham University's Center for Medieval Studies has sent a delegation to the festival. We're here uh, recognizing how interested people are in the Middle Ages, which we love, we love that. Uh, and what we really want to do is make people aware of everything else you can learn about the Middle Ages by studying it. We have everything from sort of technical crafts, like uh, how to make medieval textiles, uh, how people made medieval manuscripts. We also have people here who are giving mini lectures about medieval medicine. So there's a doctoral student here whose PhD is about medieval medicine and she's here talking about the practice of medieval medicine and specifically about the great plague that struck the medieval world in the 1340s and uh, how medicine in particular responded to it. Like the World Health Organization, these outbreaks are very quickly contained. The majority of, of the things that you see at a typical medieval or renaissance festival are things like jousting and swords. But what we sort of aim to show is what was life really like during the Middle Ages? So what was a normal person's life like? Did most people know how to read and write? What did people eat? I find that most people are drawn to the Middle Ages because of swords and jousting and all of that kind of exciting stuff. But if you tell them about the way that people lived in the Middle Ages, they really respond to that. There's been a fascination in the Middle Ages that goes back a really, really long way. And why is that? Well, this is a really great canvas on which people project their dreams, their fantasies, uh, a different world that they, they wish they could inhabit or they want to inhabit. At Fordham, we know, we recognize that we're really the home for medieval studies. And we realize that that's not something that most people would know in New York City, that there was a great place to study the Middle Ages in New York City. So we wanted people to know about that, and we thought, what better place to do that than at a medieval festival? 